So my plan was, you know, get your work experience, mm. uh, get your GMAT score, and then go abroad. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah. be part of an uh, i mean get into a, a business school and you know uh, take it from there i'm certain that there are a lot of more talented more deserving people out there of course you want to be the center stage because you know this is what i've worked for so i met uh, mm-hmm. salman sir and then the same night i met uh, sharukh sir and my mom was very disappointed with me Uh, for people who don't know this man is 64 and i'm going to put a picture here of both of us together because i'm sitting here i'm saved but tell me have you ever got rejected in an audition because of your height maybe ads and stuff like <laughs> bikes and all like i mean b- i mean bikes come to all close to my thighs <laughs> and then knee- and knees would be too much but you know that but uh, to the contrary my height has always been the uh, a big factor in me getting the parts really yeah. okay so dhairya let's talk about coming to bollywood how did this happen when did you realize ki bhai mujhe to yahi karna hai so i mean uh, until few years back i didn't know i want to do this so i'd be here i'd be doing this so i graduated from srcc delhi university and then i straight uh, after college i started working as a data analyst like you said uh, in a multinational firm wow. in front of a laptop in a cubicle 9 to 5 i did that for 2 years and like man this is not for me but by the time i had work experience so my plan was you know get your work experience mm-hmm. uh, get your gmat score and then go abroad uh, <clears throat> yeah be part of an uh, i mean get into a, a business school and you know uh, take it from there but while i was studying in uh, i did uh, take a couple of gmat uh, exams and not bad my grades were How never much? bad i had a 650 out of 800 which is not bad not so bad. 700 is great like that's yeah. the ideal but, but that's but great 650 still is not is bad still great. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah so put together everything i would i was getting decent university mm-hmm. that i could go to but All along, I mean, I'd look at pictures and say, "Man, that could be me. Why am I not doing this?" And then my pictures fr- of what? Pictures, just magazines and stuff. Wow. And then, of course, it's just you know our conditioning that we we we've, we've all grown up watching films. Like you fantasize about it, you dream about it. That you know, oh, I am in that scene or in that you know, I'm that <laughs> protagonist. That. Oh, I mean, always, I yeah. <laughs> so that and then you know your your friends are very supportive and like oh, man you should do this and all and then i would uh, just you know say to myself what if i just you know live with this regret i don't want to do that so might as well so i was brave enough to just put my books on hold and you know give it a shot so i started modeling in delhi and that uh, went really well for the first few months i was like oh this is going well i mean now <laughs> if i good. yeah this is looking fine i mean now if i want to give it a serious shot then uh, let's come to bombay What bombay is the reaction? place my parents have been super supportive awesome. my parents like okay great job kar lo jilo pe zindagi jilo pe zindagi yeah no one holding simran back here <laughs> so so hence i uh, came to bombay i met two modeling agencies one signed me up immediately on the spot like yeah we'll w- work with you so and wow. that was probably the most instinctive decision i've taken in my life i went back to delhi i to- told my uh, friend i was sharing a house with that here i'm going to support you for 2 3 months you find your place i am going to bombay so that was wow. as quick as that i didn't think through it for the person i am that's very unlike me now that i think back i was like what made me take the decision because again you leaving your whole city your your comfort zone and but i think that was probably what's helped me grow really in bombay and find myself yeah so i came to bombay and the first year lost you don't know anyone in the city you're trying to figure out how things work over here and that's when you slowly figure that okay i mean modeling is good but you know it's very momentarily temporary there's no longevity here and uh, i mean all my auditions i go to i mean everybody's acting you know you need to know how to act over here so that's and then i got a hang of it also and i was like you know i i'm enjoying this but I, all i need is uh, to put in some effort be good with it because i i, I mean i don't come from any uh, uh drama background or haven't been to any formal school of training so i think the, the only experience i've had on uh, in acting is my when my third when i was in third grade my teacher forced me to play pinocchio 
<laughs> and I've and in between me and my co-actor on stage, final play happening, we forgot the lines. And I am blaming him. It's your line. Go ahead. It's your line. He's telling me, no, no, it's your line. So we got over that. <laughs> so after that, I was like, acting not for you, boss. <laughs> and, and here you too, are. Yeah. And here I there am. I am with Deepika Padukone. Sometimes I feel life has better plans for you. And I am a firm believer in that. Man. But how did you learn it? Did you go to a... incessant number of auditions, incessantly auditioning, and numerous number of auditions? That's how. That's been my biggest school of learning, really. There has always been this debate of an insider outsider. You know that. Yeah. So, abhi you are the outsider. Yeah. Full. Making your place inside in yeah. the inner circle. Yeah. Now, how do you? How did you manage? to be in that part of the circle uh, how difficult was that how many rejections or did you ever feel i don't belong no i've never felt that and that's that's a credit to the people i've worked with really because do you think you got lucky absolutely i am fortunate because there are so many other uh, i mean lakhs and lakhs and crores of people who come here and who want to be actors and here i am with no experience or, or no formal training or i never thought that this is going to be my life but here i am so of course i am fortunate i won't uh, shy away from saying that i didn't work for it i worked hard for it and i've been equally rewarded and uh, but again there are so many more i'm sure there are i'm certain that there are a lot of more talented more deserving people out there so when you keep that in consideration of course i am fortunate that i'm here and i'm lucky but although at the same time i feel that you know people have worked with like you said inside outside i've never been uh, made to feel you're an outsider and also it, it has a lot to do with how you look at it your your outlook in your perspective but because if you try to victimize yourself you're just making your life and your journey harder for yourself really mm. because and uh, again everybody has their own journey has their own independent journey you, nobody else's journey should have any implications on your journey that you know or oh, you've come from outside so you will have to spend these many years or you'll have to go through that trauma or, or people like to call it struggle i mean i uh uh stay away from that word because there's so much negative negativity attached or connotation to it so i feel it's an aspiring stage where until you make it or that opportunity you get where people then see you uh, until then it's just learning and growth and uh, be it an inside or outside everybody has will have their own challenges do you remember the first yes that you got after an audition for a film For a film was Uri. Yes. Yeah. So tell me about that. that so up till how then, how did it happen uh, and the audition yeah. and everything? So I re- remember precisely. Uri was April two thousand eighteen. I moved to Bombay Jan two thousand and sixteen. So that was two years and a quarter. And uh, it's again like you know how destiny plays its part really because um, the casting director shared the script with me. and right a day before i was prepped i was just about to head out and then the casting assistant calls me and they're like wear a pug for the part for for the audition i was like man these people just ask you whatever i'll make a cook up an excuse but it so happened i used to live near a gurdwara so i went up to gurdwara was like fine okay i'll try they were kind enough to give me a turban the sevadas tied a turban i went there 3 days later i got the part Wow. and later i find that you know they've been auditioning for that part for the last 3 months they've auditioned wow. actual seeks but here i am i got the part there was there was a f- friend or uh, uh, who i i mean he's not a very close friend but i know someone i a, a co actor i met through audition he suggested my name i mean what are the odds when you put together everything really so you know you can't uh put together i mean being uh, you can't design being at the right time at the right place and the right opportunity comes knocking at your door it just happens but what i would say is that you have to be prepared for that opportunity when it comes around you can't be sitting at home then hoping and believing yeah, and destiny that it's going to happen but then it's not going to happen uh let's talk about gehraiya how yes. did gehraiya gehraiya happen to you again like all the films that have happened for me through audition that's amazing uh, actually yeah it just happened and it's it, it's it's great you know uh, 
So I, I saw this article of Shakun and uh, Deepika and Anya Siddhant, their picture in it. And I was, again, those aspiring actors and looking for parts. And I, I see this article and I'm like, wow, lucky actors. And fortunately, then I got a call from my casting director that, you know, there's this film and uh, this Shakun's film. Okay. But, and then I did all my hard work, my prep work. So I watched Shakun's films again, which I already seen it a couple of times. But again, just to be... And then I went through all his uh, interviews, oh. what he likes and what he doesn't like. Wow. So I was prepped for my audition. Yeah. Research done well. Research done well. I remember I, because he likes it to be very real and stuff. So on the way, I thought just for my activity, what should I do? Drinking water is just normal. I got a bag of chips. I was eating chips and, you know, talking and doing that. And later on, he tells me that bag of chi chips was really uh, did it for you. Wow. So I was prepped for my... But tell yeah. me, what was it like to step on that set for the first time? And uh, when you have such an experienced actor like a Deepika Padukone, what is the stress like or what is the pressure like? You know, one would imagine, like you correctly put, that, you know, someone in my position will have those nerves and anxiety stepping on... Uh, acting in front of a stalwart like her but it's credit to her and to Shakun because they realized this that they realized also that all the characters have some uh, have a past have a history of and they know each other for some time so now for that comfort to replicate on screen we had to know each other really well so before we started filming in Goa we had these two week intensive workshop where we just spend time together, all of us. We get up in the morning, we do yoga together. I know, they told me, yeah. yes. And just eat uh, together, go through our reading sessions together. We have these intimacy workshops together. So, I mean, by the end of it, when we came around on the first day of filming, we were actually friends. We got along really well. And it was just so smooth. You know, Deepika in an interview said, uh, Dhairi is like a big brother to me. You yeah. know, what is the kind of relationship in a uh, in a personal space off camera do you guys share? I mean, like she said, you know, we, we both are very, protective, very similar? protective about it. Yeah, we, we are, we are yeah. in fact, because very I similar personalities. So. Yeah? We are very similar personalities and that's, that's an, another bonus that we connect so well. And we care about each other and, you know, I mean, it's this quality of hers that, you know, even after seeing so much success and it still hasn't blurred her or contaminated her purity and she's still so warm and simple and you know that's this is like uh, such a learning for me that you know even from here on when I grow in my career okay be a good actor that's I mean you that's a prerequisite but be a good person as well and mm. I mean, it doesn't take much to be a good person and just be kind just be kind yeah, yeah. Okay, you know, uh, I have heard that there have been times that you have said no to uh, roles that, leading roles, you know. Here yeah. you have done uh, Uri, 83 and now Gehraya. Yeah. But parts matter to you, but their size doesn't matter to you. Is that true? Or can you tell me how do you go about choosing your roles? See, I just follow one thumb rule. Be part of good narratives, engaging narratives, good stories. And where you have a impactful part. Again, of course, I want to be the lead. I want to shoulder more responsibility. And I feel Gehraiya is that right progress, right step in my career up till now, in my career trajectory. And I want keep want to keep growing from here. I won't say that, oh no, that you know, I just want to be part. Of course, impact matters, and that's been uh, that I mean, you'll see that in my career choices up till now. So I've been consciously aware of this and uh, there has been that thought behind all my decisions till now. But of course, you want to be the center stage because, you know, this is what I've worked for till now. I have to tell you this, that uh, I know this, that something big is coming up. Okay, Dheria is not going to tell me, but anyways, I'm going to try. Dheria, what is happening? What's cooking? Something really amazing cooking up. Ah. Yeah, yeah. And some very interesting conversations happening. And these are the days that I've 
dreamt of lived for i mean no i mean lived for is just too much i mean there's there's more to your life than just work but tell me who, but, which are the, these actors who used to look up to i mean i've worked with some of them really already uh, already i'm mean, so fortunate I, i i am really fortunate and grateful at the same time vicky is amazing pankaj sir is one man who is just full of stories and anecdotes that man is you will never be bored around he is fabulous a great actor but of such a great personality to be just be around wow wow and there's this one um, lesson from him that i'd like to share that you know uh, he so usually when you shoot there are two cameras do two setups and he's like you have to be honest to your job because that third camera up there is ro- rolling always he's wow. watching you that camera is looking at you so don't be don't be disappointed if you're in the background just be honest somebody is seeing you wow i want to keep that to myself with me i was like wow and then dipika i mean i remember talking to my mom it was 2013 uh, ye jawani hai diwani released and i was watching i went with my mom to watch the film and we both came out like wow mom such an entertaining great film no and by then i was just studying and stuff mm. so cut to these years here i am opposite her and what is your mom's reaction when she saw the trailer amazing she is uh, mom's are the best sweetest so uh, i went on big boss so i met uh, mm-hmm. salman sir and then the same night i met uh, shahrukh sir uh, again such a gentleman such warm i mean you the, yeah the moment you meet him you feel that 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 mm-hmm. aura around him and my mom was very disappointed with me I'm like why didn't you get a picture with him like this would have been your memory of meeting him for the first time I was like my mom was so disappointed with me. I was like my I mean I couldn't think of taking a picture here I am I'm just living that moment. And my mom was very disappointed with me. Like you couldn't take a picture with both of them. I like, was sorry I'll do that next time when I meet them. When are you going to meet them next time? <laughs> That's what you said. When are you going to meet them? Ye bhi baat sahi hai. Oh, there yeah it was lovely talking same, to you. Yeah, and... Such a great great conversation. I loved it. Thank you.